Hi everyone. For the region bounded by the graphs of y equals cosine of x plus 1, y equals 0, also uh, x equals pi and x equals negative pi, we're going to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region about the x-axis. Now basically we're just going to use this formula here for the volume of a solid of revolution about the x-axis and this will be our y. Let's do a little sketch and see what we have. Um, so basically for cosine, uh, usually it starts at 1 and we're going from uh, negative pi to pi for the x value. <coughs> but since we have a plus 1, we're shifting up by 1. So we shift up by 1. So it's going to come down like this, and because that will equal 0. So you go like this, and this, something like that. So that's your graph. So we're going to do um, uh, this shaded region here. We also have uh, y equals 0. That's this line here. And um, I'll go ahead and put this one right here. Um, these two sides are equal. It doesn't look like they're equal, but they're equal because it's symmetric to the y-axis. All right, so basically just using our formula, we're going to get our volume equals uh, pi, and we're going from negative uh, pi to pi. Then you take your y, which is cosine of x plus 1 squared dx. All right. Another thing we can do is, um, since these are symmetric, I can just go from 0 to pi and take um, this volume here. Remember, we're rotating about the x-axis. So I can just take this volume and then multiply it by 2 to get this one. All right, so I'm going to write this as equals 2 pi and just go from 0 to pi. It makes integration easier. And then I'm going to expand this. This will be cosine squared of uh, x plus 2 cosine of x plus 1 dx. <coughs> All right. And also I want to do um, rewrite this one using my identity as uh, uh, cosine squared is also can be written as 1. My, uh, plus cosine of 2x divided by 2 uh, plus 2 cosine of x plus 1. All right, and I have that written uh, here. So basically, I'm just using this trig identity for cosine squared of x. So that means I can also write this as 2 pi. We're going from 0 to pi. And I'm going to put this uh, 2 under each piece here. So this is really going to be 1 half plus uh, cosine of 2x divided by 2. Then we still had our plus 2 cosine of x plus 1 dx. <coughs> All right. So let's go ahead and integrate this. This is going to give me 2 pi. And um, this is going to be sine of 2x, then we have to divide that by 4 when you integrate it. Then for this piece, um, that's going to be plus 2 sine of x, and then 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. <coughs> Excuse me, so that's going to give you 3 divided by 2x, and we're evaluating from 0 to pi. Now when we substitute in 0, this is just going to zero out, so we just can deal with the pi. This is going to give me 2 pi, and we're going to have sine of um, 2 pi divided by 4 plus 2 sine of 2 pi, or oh, just sine of pi, sorry. Oops. Sine of pi plus uh, 3 divided by 2 pi. All right, let's see. Sine of 2 pi is 0. Sine of pi is 0. So basically we have 2 pi 
times 3 divided by 2 pi. The 2's cancel, so we're left with um, 3 pi squared, and that's your volume. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.